What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm in a new kitchen. I just currently moved. It was a bit of a stressful, overwhelming process, but I'm so happy I'm you know pretty much done with this. So fully settled in. Just have to you know unpack some boxes and that'll be pretty much it. I already cleaned up the other spot and I'm so happy it's over and done with. But just got done training. Here I have just you know a bowl of oatmeal that I just made. I have about 45 grams of oatmeal. I have the chocolate peanut butter protein by Jack Factory. I add a little bit of this PB2 powder, some salt, and I finish it off with some cinnamon. And here's the final product. This is just, you know, how I like my oatmeal. I add about a scoop and a half of the protein powder, not too much protein, just because I feel like when you add too much protein to, you know, cream or rice or oats, it kind of just messes up the texture. So I would recommend sticking to a scoop and you could do like maybe one heaping scoop. I did a scoop and a half, just got done training. But today, you know, I'm gonna do my best to go over some tips and advice I can give to you guys when you're trying to get leaner. I know summer's around the corner and a lot of people wanna get in shape. Not everybody, you know, has a coach. A lot of people that I encounter are doing a lot of things on their own, which is good. You know, it's definitely good to learn things on your own. I just want you guys to get the right idea on what I like to do when I'm trying to get in shape. And I'm just trying to, you know, help you guys and inform you with what works for me, what has worked with my clients. And um, let's get to it. Let me set this up right here. Hopefully this is aligned the right way. All right, guys. So when it comes to getting in shape, there's multiple variables that you really need to consider. One is, I would say your diet. Your diet should be somewhat calculated. If you haven't really dieted before, I definitely recommend using MyFitnessPal. Try to see what food sources that you actually enjoy. You know, try to get leaner kind of sources in, like you know, chicken breast, white fish, ground turkey. Start off with that. That way, your body can digest it and it's really efficient and. Tip number one is definitely tracking your food. I think a lot of people, they kind of just intuitively just eat and kind of go based off how they feel. And it's kind of hard to really seek progress that way because there's no consistency there. Unless you're doing the same thing every single day, that works too. But I would definitely say, you know, track your calories, track your macros, use MyFitnessPal. Try to eat medium-sized meals frequently. I'll say every three hours have a meal and you could do that in you know four meals to six meals if you're a bodybuilder or you know high level athlete you're training really hard i'll definitely recommend having six meals if you're more of like a lifestyle person and you're not really a big eater or your schedule doesn't really accommodate for that i'll definitely recommend doing maybe three meals you can even try fasting where you have like two big meals in a eight hour window and then you fast for six hours, 16 hours. Um, that can be beneficial for some people if you're not really a big eater and you like to constantly have a you know light stomach and you kind of just want to get all the food out of the way in one, one sitting. Not one sitting, but like two sittings within a eight hour window. But first step is definitely tracking your food, knowing exactly where you're eating and make sure you're consuming you know, the right amount of calories. We'll go on Google and just look up track maintenance calories and then use one of those calculators, put in your body body information and then from there just see where your maintenance is. I don't know how accurate that's gonna be because everybody has, you know, different metabolisms and the more active you are, the more calories you're gonna need. But I would definitely use it as a baseline just to work off of something. And then for literally two weeks, just fully commit yourself to a diet you know, you can use sauces as long as it's not really fatty. You track your water intake as well. Keep your water intake pretty high. I'll say a gallon, two gallons if you're a bigger individual. And just eliminate, you know, sugary drinks. If you're drinking soda, try to resort to diet soda. If you're drinking juices, just try to stick to water. Literally just do it for two weeks and you'll notice a significant difference. A lot of people, they consume their calories from, you know, drinking like soda or juices and stuff. and. I feel like you can definitely utilize those calories within your food. So that's like another tip I'll definitely recommend you try out. If you're drinking a lot of sodas or just juices, try to eliminate, try to stick to water. Zero, zero calorie drinks just in general can be really helpful. 
especially when you're dieting. And then another big point is cardio. I think cardio is extremely essential, especially if you're trying to get leaner or get in shape, just because, you know, your body, you, you need to get your metabolism running in order for you to, you know, lose body fat. So the more cardio you do, the more efficient your metabolism is gonna be, the better the food absorption is gonna be. So I would definitely recommend starting off with like 20 minutes. You could do it daily, or you could do start off with four times a week, taper it up to five times, six times, then daily. But literally start off with 20 minutes a day, see how you feel before, after the first week, taper it up to like maybe 25 minutes the next week, and go by how you feel. And as far as your calories, I would definitely say stay at the maintenance level just because you want to utilize efficient foods just to perform optimally in the gym. So try to get into a deficit through your training and cardio. I think that's one of the best ways to get leaner because you're literally feeding your body really quality you know, nutrition, but then you're eating just enough and then you're putting yourself in a deficit through you know, the cardio and you know the training so that's like a big thing that you should you know try to start off with literally commit 14 days just give it two weeks of following a consistent diet routine along with a cardio protocol and i think you'll definitely see the results and progress takes time you know it's not something that you're just gonna see within a week you know i have some clients that check in and they're like oh like how do i look you know after a week of dieting your body is still trying to figure out what's going on so it just takes time for your body to adapt to a diet and then once you're adapted that's when you're going to be really efficient and see the progress that you can seek out of the diet and cardio and you can manipulate the diet you know you can go lower carbs if you're trying to really push it and get even leaner but make sure your protein intake is moderately high and if your carbs are lower you can increase your fat intake just slightly a bit by you know using like avocados olive oil peanut butter, all natural peanut butter, cashew, nuts. And um, I would say that's pretty much it. You know, it's pretty simple. You know, dieting is one of those things where there's so many people that want to get in shape. But the thing is, is like, it's pretty easy to follow, but not many people can really follow through with it because it's just the consistency of it. And I'm telling you right now, if you're really serious about your goals and you're serious about just transforming your body and just sharpening your mind just creating good habits with your eating and your training and just overall your fitness you're going to reap so much benefit you know you're going to you're going to reap a lot of benefit going into a diet rather than just eating like eating out all the time you'll save more money you'll learn how to cook and making your food tasty is one big thing that's really important especially if you're trying to cut down because you don't want to just be eating dry chicken breasts or foods that are just really bland. So don't be afraid to use salt, garlic powder, onion powder. You can literally make it however you want, you know, whatever your preference is. But as long as you're consuming the right amount of food, tracking things, I would definitely invest into a weight scale. That's really essential. A lot of people don't really have a weight scale just laying around but I think having a weight scale is extremely important I know it's, it's kind of like one of those things where it's like oh like I don't really feel like weighing my food I just want to eat but it goes a long way because you know eating you know nine ounces of chicken compared to like six or five ounces is a big you know difference like an open bodybuilder will probably eat you know eight to ten ounces of meat per meal so if you're you know 160 pounds you don't want to just eat 10 ounces of protein just to eat it you know so i think just finding the right amount is where you'll see and feel better and everything will operate more efficiently but as far as cardio keep it low intensity you know you don't have to do anything too extreme just keep your heart rate within 125 to 135 and do that over the prolonged period of time i don't really go by you know trying to calculate the calories from the actual cardio machine you can do that as kind of like a baseline to see how your performance is from each cardio session but i don't think it's that accurate because everybody has a different kind of body and it's going to vary depending on your metabolism if you're extremely lean and you're you have a lot of muscle mass you're going to burn more more calories just because you have more muscle and your metabolism is faster so just do it for the duration of time tracked by the beats per minute of your heart rate and i think that's the best way to track your cardio 
and just give it two weeks with the diet and then from there once you create that habit in the two weeks just run it through for you know eight weeks or however long you're you know dedicated and willing to stay disciplined to a diet and i think within 12 weeks if you were to start today you'll see a lot of progress compared to you know the first day and a lot of people will be really shocked you know a lot of people will just be like wow i really committed to this thing and 10 weeks goes by you're in way better shape you feel healthier you're mentally more sharp your confidence is up just because you feel good so give it a try hope these tips help you and you know if you guys have any questions drop a comment below just trying to give you guys some knowledge um, I am on competition prep now. I'm about, I think, 12 weeks out from the Chicago Pro, which is the show I won last year. I'm definitely going to run that one again. I want to do Tampa Pro and then the Arnold Classic, and then hopefully I can qualify for the Olympia. But this video is just more towards just giving advice on, you know, how to get leaner, how to get in shape. And, you know, we all know what it takes to get in shape. You know, you have to be in a calorie deficit. You have to be eating easily digested food. Make sure you're not bloated and just stay efficient, you know, stay consistent. There's going to be some days where you're not going to feel like dieting and eating the same foods. And you can always resor resort to like some Chipotle or a burger, but that's just like taking the easy route, you know, make it challenging for yourself. And that challenge goes a long way and you'll see it within your physique. You'll see it within the progress that you make over the weeks. So try to stay on a consistent diet, create good habits, get your cardio in, train really hard, drink a lot of water, make sure you're salting your food, take a daily fiber supplement just so, you know, your body is just, you know, digesting properly. And from there, just reap the rewards, reap all the benefits from, you know, the diet, the training, the cardio, and you'll see the results over time. So just, you know, stay committed. And, you know, I, I feel like I'm sounding mad, trying to be like mad motivational right now. But when I talk to some of my clients, this is literally what I tell them, you know, like I can guide you and tell you exactly what to do when it comes to, you know, getting in shape or getting prepared for a show. But it's ultimately up to you to really execute. You know, I can't really do the work for you. I can't do the cardio for you. I can't force you to eat the food. So just take this as it is and just try to implement it within your daily routine and hopefully you know you reap the results i hope you learned something about you know getting in shape or just reducing body fat overall and um you know if you're new to the channel subscribe i'm going to be pushing out more content like i said i just recently moved and this move has been a bit stressful but i'm pretty much settled in i'm in my guest bedroom right now so i'm just chilling this is where i kind of do like all my client work i have my laptop usually set up here i read here and um, yeah, let me eat this bowl of oats now. It's getting kind of cold. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.